In a wealthy suburb of Pompeii, experts are trying to solve a 2,000-year-old murder mystery. They're investigating if a group of super-rich citizens were targeted by thieves as Mount Vesuvius erupted, burying everyone under volcanic ash. Because there is evidence throughout Pompeii that the population were doing all they could to protect their valuables from robbers. It really is interesting that we have so much evidence that people were very concerned about the safety, the welfare of their houses. The most impressive example of this fear of violent theft was found at the warehouse, where the two groups of bodies were discovered. At Aplantis, archaeologists found a very large strong box that they think belonged to the owner of this large commercial area. And it's possible that that person was found in room 10 as one of the skeletons. This ornate strongbox was the Roman answer to a state-of-the-art home security system. It's a clear indication of the lengths to which the wealthy would go to protect their valuables. Following a painstaking restoration, the exquisite detailing of the ancient safe can at last be revealed. The highly prized item featured a four-stage locking mechanism to protect any riches inside. The strongbox was so well made, it took a full-scale natural disaster to breach its defenses. And evidence from elsewhere in Pompeii suggests in the lead-up to the devastating eruption, crime was rampant across the city. Roman historian Kevin Dicus is examining a tragic remnant of one of Pompeii's most popular security measures, a guard dog that died protecting its master's home. Most of the people that come here look at this and they see their family pet. We see something different here. He's contorted, he's on his back, and the story is he was, he was chained to his post. When Vesuvius erupted, this guard dog, like hundreds of Pompeii's residents, was encased in layers of pumice and ash. The void left when the body decayed allowed experts to create a perfect plaster cast of the animal. So it's entirely possible that the dog was left behind specifically to guard the house as the owners fled to protect the home from looters.